Hello everyone, this is Kevin from Points Travel Tech. I was recently lucky enough to fly with Swiss from Zurich to Dubai on their Airbus A330. Heading to Dubai, I was sitting in business class. Coming back to Zurich, I flew in first class. So I thought I'd make a comparison video of the two classes in the same plane type. The first flight was really full and the return flight took off at 3.30 a.m. So I'll try to do the best with the limited footage I have. Lastly, I'll have a giveaway at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around. I hope you enjoy it. To start things off, some quick info about my booking. I booked this trip as a companion sale on Swiss.com. Due to multiple cancellations and rebookings, the entire itinerary consisted of Paris to Zurich, Zurich to Dubai, Dubai to Zurich, Zurich to Frankfurt and Frankfurt to Paris. The price for one person was 1,347 euros. Let's head inside the Airbus A330. This plane type now has the oldest seat configuration in Swiss's fleet. The 777s and A340s are equipped with newer seats. Welcome to the so-called Strübli of Swiss's business class. This is a two-row mini cabin right behind first class. The seat configuration alternates between 121 and 221. This allows for couples to sit by the window together. Say hello to seat 5B. As you can see, a blanket and pillow were already at my seat. Also waiting for me was the amenity kit, headphones and disinfectant wipe. Facing the screen, we can see the relatively small and dated touchscreen IFE. Next to it, we find the seat assigned coat hanger in case you brought a jacket. Underneath the screen is basically the only storage space. It fit my iPad, water bottle, GoPro, and also housed a USB port. On my left, you'll find the champagne that was served as a welcome drink and the seat controls. They not only allow you to change the seat position, but also increase or decrease the firmness and activate the massage function. However, the latter is more of a gimmick than a real feature. By the press of a button, the tray table pops out, revealing a placement for your drink in its folded state. The table is a bit unintuitive to operate, but quite sturdy when positioned correctly. The on-ear headphones looked better than they were. Next to being pretty uncomfortable, they were not noise cancelling. Luckily, I brought my Airfly Pro, which enabled me to use my Sony Huron 3s wirelessly with the in-flight entertainment. I'll have a video about this product on my channel as well. Before I get into the food, let's have a look at the Softcase Victrinox Amenity Kit. The contents are pretty basic and consisted of socks, toothbrush and toothpaste, earplugs, eye shades and lip balm. At the start of the meal service, our Duval Leroy champagne was refilled and accompanied by some nuts. As a starter, I went for the beef entrecote tataki. There were four main courses to choose from. I took the braised beef brisket, which was okay. By recommendation of the crew, my girlfriend chose the pike perch with Riesling sauce. This was delicious and the clear winner of the two. The main course was followed by a tasty cheese selection and the famous Swiss pear bread. To finish it all off, there was a yuzu lemon meringue pie with gruyere doubled cream. After dinner, it's fitting to take a quick look at the bathroom. Spoiler alert, this business class restroom in the A330 was a lot bigger than the only bathroom in first class. It offered a padded seat and a body mirror and not much else. No other amenities apart from soap and paper towels were provided. If you're traveling alone, try to snag one of these throne seats. These offer twice the storage space, and this seat in particular, 4A, is in the bulkhead, which means the foot cubby for sleeping is a bit larger. If you're traveling as a couple and sleeping is most important to you, I would suggest sitting in rows 6D and G, as these are also bulkhead seats. Finally, this is the business class seat in bed mode. No extra bedding is provided, and the pillow is not very thick. I was very happy to have brought my nap pillow by Casper. It's a great travel accessory. The blanket was just right for the temperature of the cabin. I'm 1 meter 87 or 6 foot 1 and sleep on my side. This was comfortably possible in this seat. This concludes the business class cabin. The crew was great, the food was good and overall it was a pleasant flight. Due to COVID restrictions, all lounges were closed at Zurich Airport, including the first class lounge on our way back, which was a bummer. Also, I was a bit surprised that the single sanitation wipe was the only COVID-specific product that was handed out to passengers. 
On the other hand, I was very happy that they offered the full meal service since eating at the airport was basically impossible. On to our return flight out of Dubai in first class. Our flight departed from Terminal 3, which is actually the Emirates Terminal. This meant that the check-in area and lounge facilities were not tailored to Swiss or Star Alliance. But the terminal was fully operational and the restaurants were open as well. We even got access to the gallery lounge. This lounge offered a buffet and a la carte dining and the food tasted a lot better than we were expecting. We made our way over to gate B1, which meant bus boarding. But there was a separate bus for first class. Sadly, it wasn't one of the luxurious versions that Emirates has on offer for its first class passengers. On the other hand, we got to see the bird in all its glory and be among the first passengers to enter the plane. Welcome to seat 1A. A blanket, pillow, slippers and a manity kit were already waiting on my ottoman. Laurent Perrier Grand Siècle was poured at my seat and swiftly accompanied by a melon and shrimp canapé. While browsing through the menu, the flight attendant asked what pajama size I wanted. Since the large in Lufthansa's first class was a bit short for me, I opted for the extra large. This was a slight mistake because it was really big. The single first class lavatory is located right by the cockpit and is a tight fit. I was really surprised by the crampedness. The mirror was a bit longer compared to business class and cloth hand towels were provided. While the headphones looked a bit more retro, they were more comfortable than the ones in business class and additionally featured active noise cancellation, a great plus. Wi-Fi is available on this plane and the measly 50 megabytes are provided complimentary for first class customers. Business class passengers are left with nothing. The speed was slow and the prices are pretty outrageous. There wasn't an option to purchase Wi-Fi for the whole flight. Opening this cover not only reveals the dated and unresponsive IFE remote, but also houses the headphone connector, USB charging port, and the only enclosed storage option for the seat. It did fit my headphones, iPad, GoPro, and phone, but storage-wise, this seat is pretty lacking. Lastly, you can also find the detachable seat control touchscreen remote. The large and very comfortable seat can be customized in many ways. For dinner, the massive wooden tray table was deployed. This seat configuration enables couples to dine together with the second person sitting on the ottoman. We considered this, but since our flight departed at 3.30 a.m. and only lasted six and a half hours, we didn't want to waste too much time. I chose three starters. The Balik salmon, which was terrific, but not quite the caviar equivalent it claims to be. The selection of air-dried meats and the potato and leek soup. As a main course, I opted for the roasted chicken breast which was prepared nicely, but my least favorite dish of the meal. This was followed by a cheese plate and strawberry tartlet. After dinner, the crew turned our seat into heavenly beds. A thick mattress pad was added, then came a duvet and luscious pillow. This made my nap pillow obsolete. The bed is huge and super comfy. The blanket was a bit too warm for the cabin temperature. However, I got almost four hours of sleep and woke up to a simple breakfast while we were flying over the Alps. And shortly after, we landed safely in Zurich. Thanks for making it this far. You might have noticed that I didn't show you the first class amenity kit. I forgot to do it mid-flight. So let's check out the contents. Eye mask, socks, tissues, toothpaste and toothbrush, earplugs, Ricola lozenges, four different cosmetics from La Prairie, for the male version, a shoehorn and a comb, for the female version, a brush and comb combo, and a vanity kit, 
The final piece that really surprised me is in this pouch. It contains three Swiss branded face masks. They are very comfortable, adjustable, washable and come with test results from a Swiss testing facility. The best part is, I have these unopened business class and first class amenity kits that I'm giving away to two lucky winners. All you need to do is like this video and leave a comment, then you're automatically entered. In case you've won, I'll notify you via your comment on this video, so be sure to enable YouTube notifications. I'll send the amenity kits anywhere within Europe. The draw closes on May 31st, 2021. Good luck to all of you. This video has gone on long enough. Thanks for sticking through to the end. Please like and subscribe to support the channel and hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. Until then, happy travels and see you soon.